long have you been working in the jewelry industry and what made you launch your own jewelry label? I've been in the diamond industry for the past nine years, working as a diamond wholesaler. And I'm not coming from a diamond family. Mm-hmm. Uh, my father was a diplomat, uh, which allows me, I think, to see the jewelry industry with fresh eyes. So we wanted to bring something new to the fine jewelry world. Our first collection, it's called Bird of Paradise. Uh-huh. And we put a lot of thought about our first collection. And we decided to, and we chose Bird of Paradise because in ancient times, Bird of Paradise were a symbol for status. Mm-hmm. They represent something that stands out. And for us, it was an inspiration, not only because of their remarkable beauty, but they represent something that stands out and shows how the familiar becomes extraordinary. Mm-hmm. And by doing so, gave us the, the inspiration for this first collection. And uh, I know you also work as a photographer, right? You, um, you held many exhibitions in different countries and you published a photo book about Hong Kong two years ago. So in what ways has your background in photography inspired your jewelry design? Um, in photography, you can take a photo of a single item from different kind of angles and perspective. And this is exactly what we did with our jewelry. Mm-hmm. We put as much effort on the inside of the jewelry as much as we put on the outside. This is, I think, what defines a true jewelry house. And on each of our ring, you mm-hmm. will be able to find our pink sapphire signature, which is only for the owner to see and not something to share with the rest of the world. The first collection, um, Birds of Paradise, is inspired by birds native to Papua New Guinea. Yes. So have you ever been to Papua New Guinea? I definitely plan to go there. Okay. A member of our team went there. And there is something about those birds that you're just driven to say, wow. The way they dance and they play with the feathers and the colors. And there is something really remarkable about them. So you have, haven't seen the real birds of, the, of your collection yet? I've been, I've been watching a lot of videos and photo shoots and... Oh, so a lot of research has been done. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I did look at every thing of your collection and this is my favorite piece. So what inspires the design concept of this ring? The greater bird of paradise and like the choosing of materials? So? Each ring has a name of the bird that was inspiration for our designer. Uh-huh. And for this first collection, we decided to use natural fancy colored diamonds. Um, Natural fancy colored diamonds are so rare that only one out of 10,000 white diamonds is a fancy colored diamond. If you're following the industry of jewelry, you will see that all the big auction houses keep on breaking the record prices with them. And it's safe to say that these stones will grow in value. So when you're buying, this jewelry, you will invest in your family heritage, in your family legacy. And left you wondering.